English is quite easy when it comes to singular or plural. Am I right? Yes. But I'm afraid there is the flip side of the coin. So welcome to Practice Academy. Today we'll learn pair nouns. So what is meant by pair? In simple English, it means a set of two things used together. When you use two things together, like I have two hands. So if I'm using them together, so it means it becomes a pair. So here, the same in the same way, we have pair nouns. So pair nouns means it's a little different. So how is it? It means those nouns which are made up of two things and they cannot be separated. So they have to be used together. If they are not used together, then they may not be of any use to you. So let's start it. So here we are ready with pair nouns. Before we go further, I will tell you the meaning again. It refers to a thing which is made up of two parts. Do remember that. And here you can see we have a quite a long list here of pair nouns but before jumping on this we will understand when we use pair nouns so what are those things which we have to keep in mind so that you can avoid those mistakes which are generally made which are commonly made by others which you will not make now for sure so the first condition which you have to keep in mind that the that pair noun is actually used in plural form so they are used in plural form so what do you mean by plural form you know that when there is bus so if you want to use the that in plural you say buses so i'm not saying that bus is a plural a uh, bus is a pair noun but this is actually just wanted to tell you that whenever you have to use something in plural you add s or es or ies in general right okay so the second one is the second condition is that you do not have to use a or an before that pair noun because you do not use them in singular form even though it's just a single piece you do not use them in singular form you always use them in plural form if i give you an example i have this i have these glasses here you see that so you cannot say a glasses you cannot say a glasses because you see this why do we say it's a pair because you can see here that it is one here and the other glass here so i am using i'm using these glasses as a pair so whenever you whenever somebody uses something in a pair so we use them in plural i hope this would make a little clear to you so just like glasses we have different different uh, nouns here so you can see if we talk about clothes so in clothes we have trousers so you must have noticed or you must be using this particular one as trouser so you have to avoid that from now on that you do not say trouser because trouser had has right side and left side and both are the same so it means whenever you have two parts of something so you use that as a pair noun so that's why you will use them in plural form so here it will be trousers so now if you talk about tights so again tights where tights are actually worn by women these are tight fitting clothes so that's why we call them tights jeans you know that jeans we do not say jean we say jeans and then we do not say shorts sorry we do not say short we say shorts because again it has two pairs right and left same with pajamas same with briefs briefs is uh, um, an undergarment right okay so then we have tools here so i have noticed most of the people saying that saying scissor so it is not scissor it is scissors even if it is a single one if it's a uh, only one scissors you will use scissors goggles binoculars which you use to see far off things so you use binoculars for that because again just like glasses it has left and right just the same so it should be the same kind i mean it, it has left and it, then it has right 
so headphones you do not say headphone you always say headphones and you do not use earphone you say earphones because again it is left and right and we have tongs tongs are instruments which are used to carry chapatis uh, or eyes or there are other things which are carried by tongs and uh, you can see there are two movable arms and the same size and everything is is just the same about these two arms that's why they are used in uh, used as pair nouns and then we have tweezers tweezers are used to uh, to plug to pluck out eyebrows or to to lift small things it's just like a tong but tongs are used for for larger things as compared to tweezers so these uh, this is uh, a list which you have and uh, these are quite common ones and uh, uh, generally we use these and that's where we uh, generally make mistakes and we have to avoid them so now we have example sentences so here trousers so trousers um, here my trousers are loose now as I have lost weight and uh, you can see here trousers trousers we are talking about a pair of trousers but we are using are here because trousers is used as plural here that's why so you have to keep that in mind so you cannot use my trousers is now the next one is tights your tights look dirty look so if you talk if you remember or if you know about simple present and if you do not know what simple present is simple present tense i'm talking about so you can watch that uh, in a video of ours here and i will put the link in the description box so that you can watch it and understand what simple present is so here your tights look dirty so look so uh, tights is singular not singular i mean i mean it looks singular but it is if we talk about the word we have put s here because it is a pair noun so your tights so it has become a plural subject so with plural subject we use look we do not use s or es or we do not put ies at the at the end after look so your tights look dirty so you, we do not say your tights looks dirty so it's time to wash them them again because of plural about glasses i have lost my glasses have you seen them the same thing here them even though we are talking about only a pair of glasses so do remember we do not say i have lost one glasses or i have lost a glasses you will you can say i have lost the glasses or i have lost my glasses but you cannot use article like a uh, or an or any number just before the pair noun so then we have pajamas now i'm sure that every time every night you say uh pajamas so where is my pajama so you do not say that from now on so you have to say so where are my pajamas you can say that so these are my favorite pajamas again we are talking about only a pair of pajamas here but again we are using helping verbs here now um, you can see that here as a verb you can say we are using here as i mean as plural so these are my favorite pajamas about binoculars so my binoculars are broken uh, are i cannot bring them to the trip them because it is plural so uh, that was it about example sentences so let's move on to something else which is related to this and here you can see the word pair here pair is used while showing numbers so we literally have to use the the word pair here so how do we use it so when we say a pair of so if you if you want to talk about something singular only one then you use a pair of a pair of we do not say we do not use a or an just before just before the pair noun but you can use a pair of you can say a pair of so a pair of is used for singular so these are example sentences so what do we have here only a pair of jeans is not enough when you travel so one thing to notice here is that you can see here the helping verb is so the helping verb is why why are we using is here it's because we are using a pair of so when we use a pair of so it means it suggests that we are using it as singular so we are using it, the pair noun as one 
so that's why we use is here so only a pair of jeans so do remember when uh, even though we are using a pair of we have to remember that we are using jeans we are not saying jean so jean does not exist exist only a pair of jeans is not enough when you travel the second one is a pair of binoculars is necessary if you love birding so again a pair of so singular subject singular one so pair of binoculars singular it uh, a pair of has made it singular so is will be used so is uh it's about by coincidence that we have is in both the sentences but you can if you want to use has so a pair of so i have a, i so if you want to use has here you can use but it is according to the sentence so you if you want to use uh does you can use that but again do remember that that would be as per as per subject if the subject is singular then you can use the helping verbs as per singular subject okay then we have pairs of so pairs of uh, is used for plural so uh, the examples we have here i have three different pairs of headphones at home so you can see three so before pairs of we have to mention how many you are talking about so it is i have three different pairs of headphones at home so if you talk about different so different i have put in here so it is not necessary it is necessary to be put but here i have three different pairs of headphones at home you can also say i have three pairs of headphones at home that is also right but if you want to add something you definitely can you can also say i have three beautiful pairs of headphones at home so it's all up to you so uh, so again do remember we have to add numbers so you can say i have five pairs of headphones at home we ha i have six pairs of headphones at home so that is okay again the i mean the next example is at least two pairs of glasses are important in lockdown so so if we have to use the helping verb that will be used as, that will be used as per plural subject so you are using two pairs of glasses so we are using the helping verb are as per as per plural subject so now if we jump to something which is not related to this but i really wanted to take this so that uh, you can come to know if we are talking about something which are worn together which are worn together but are not considered plural so i just in order to avoid confusion i just wanted to tell you about these garments as well which are worn together but they can also be used separately that's why they are not considered plural so what are those items some of them are here sock so we, we what do we say we know that we say socks so where are my socks you say that all the time so here you'll say in a sentence i have lost my left pink sock suppose we have lost lo lost um maybe your left pink sock somewhere so you can say i've lost my left pink sock so you are not supposed to use socks the second one shoe so he wears only one shoe because he lost one of his legs in a war so he wears only one shoe he wears a shoe that is also okay but you, you are not using you are not putting s at the end because you are talking about only one uh, one shoe this time slipper look what i found here a slipper the same thing again you are not using as glove he took off one glove to show his scarred palm glove so the same thing again so i hope this is clear to you just wanted to avoid any confusion that whenever you use something as pair noun so those things are actually stitched together you can say but here if we talk about garments these garments they are not stitched together they are they can be used in they can be used separately so that's why we are using them we can use them in singular form as well sure you must be excited for the quiz which will tell you that yes you are ready for the world and as i always say what you can do you can do these questions pause the video do these questions and then come back play the video again and just see if you are right or wrong so let's do this 
first one is I bought us I bought a sunglass so this one is wrong and let's correct it so you can say I bought a pair of sunglasses so you will put yes after sunglass sunglasses so we are talking about only one so that's why sunglasses John wears a glasses to help him see again it is also incorrect so John wears a pair of glasses to help him see the third one how much for this shot this one is also incorrect so if you see here so short short again it's uh, what it's plural so we have to put s here shorts it will become shorts but before that we have to use these so how much for these shorts or you can also say how much for uh, for this pair of shorts you can also write how much for this pair of shorts so you can use this or uh, if you if you're talking about that maybe you are at a shop and you say you want this pair of shorts so you can say you have to use this you cannot use a there of course or you can also use that if you are asking generally how much for a pair of shorts so you can say that as well what about the fourth one so you don't need uh, you don't need earphones it is audible so you don't need earphones is it right yes it is so you don't need earphones it is audible so it is not necessary that you have to use a pair of it is not necessary at all so if you remember this one you can see here uh, so your tights look dirty so I, I have lost so no sorry not this one but this one I have lost my glasses so here we did not use a pair of we did not use pairs of we did not use any article uh, or an, an indefinite article okay so you don't need earphones earphones it is audible that is correct let's come to the fifth one he has one headphones i don't think he needs more so when when so do you remember that one is just like a so we do not say he has one headphones so you either say he has a pair of headphones so he has a pair of headphones so you can use that so he has a pair of headphones that is fine or he has one pair of headphones I don't think he needs more the next one I need to buy a pair so this one is sorry incorrect so, uh, six one I need to buy a pair of goggles is it right yes it is fine everything is right goggles has as and we are using a pair of so we are talking about only one seven <coughs> sorry seven briefs are enough for the trip seven briefs seven briefs are enough for the trip so you have to remember that it one is wrong seven pairs of seven pairs of briefs are enough for the trip a pair of binoculars help you see far a pair of binoculars help you see far so now uh, this one is fine a pair of binoculars but you can see a pair of binoculars become singular right so it will be s here so helps so this one is wrong a pair of binoculars helps you see far not help because we consider this as singular that's why The next one the scissors in your hand are sharp the scissors in your hand are sharp so scissors is uh, plural here of course we consider this as plural and r is also here so this one is correct now the last one i am wearing gloves on my right hand i am wearing gloves on my right hand so we are talking about only one hand and we do not in generally we wear only one glove in one hand so I am wearing gloves on my right hand so you will say I am wearing glove on my right hand not gloves it will be glove singular so this one is also incorrect 
so i hope uh, this was uh, quite a good one for you because uh, this is actually they, they i mean people really make mistakes in this which uh, we are, we are, which we really have to avoid and um, I hope this one was good enough for you. So like the video, share it and subscribe the channel. So take care of yourself. Bye bye.